Oh my God, we were having difficulties. Are, did you have, to, uh, were you waiting, Alejandra? No. No? No. Oh, that's No, weird. I just, uh, it told me your meeting is, you're in another meeting. You, do you want to end the other meeting? And I said, yes. Oh, well, that's weird. Nothing. Okay, I don't know, we're in though. <laughs> <laughs> So we're much. panicking over here. <laughs> it's just us. And we also have Stanley. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Stanley. How Get are you? Get ready to start in just a second. I don't understand why I'm also with Alejandra. <laughs> wow. Maybe wow. you copied her um, calendar? Maybe I did. Yeah, I'm going to look. Yeah, no, okay. change from the screen yeah, the, your name that happened remember that happened to um that happened to uh latanya that time she was at mariela i remember we we're like wait mariela's not even here everybody got so excited i got a bunch of messages i know <laughs> this in the chat. Patty, I'm gonna have to leave like um, a few minutes before, like 15 minutes before. Why, okay. why the session was deleted? Do you know? That was the session was deleted. Well, that's so I accidentally did it. I was messing. Uh, I was trying to do something with it, and and it it deleted. And I you were able it. to keep the registrations and re-register them for the other session. No, because I wasn't trying to delete it, so um, I was. I forgot what I was doing with it, but but um, everybody that had registered before, you were able to rescue those registrations. Or? I didn't have a list of them. <gasps> I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to delete it, so it wasn't something that I was planning. I know accidents then, just happen, but but that was quite a while ago, right? A couple of weeks ago. So. Mm -hmm. And Yuko saying that her connection is out. Yeah, oh. Yuko kind of cut um, off right at the end of the origami. Yeah, she was done. It was because that this session had to start for or this start. This session couldn't start unless the origami one was ended. For some reason, they were connected. We'll wait yeah, a host cannot have two concurrent sessions. I'm not sure why that happened because I was in Italy, got out of it, went to the Japan, and then I don't know. I, I was there and didn't have any problems. Hello, Ronnie. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm jumping around from one to another. So many great things that I've been seeing and hearing today. You guys Good. have just done a fantastic job in this land this all out for us. And I know that uh, students, staff, and faculty are, around the Alamo College are, are going to be re really appreciating all the quality product that you all are putting out today. So here, here, hands up to you guys for such a great Well, the job. entire team, really, everybody, and especially Maria and Alicia, they, they've been doing a great, yeah. great job. But obviously, this is a team effort, and everybody yeah. at the colleges have been putting a lot of quality <laughs> events good quality events and relevant events. So I'm very happy yeah. for this. We're thinking that next year we're gonna make it so probably part of the efforts of the internationalization of the curriculum. 
Okay. okay. So we're going to try to engage those faculties that would like to bring internationalization to their classrooms. Yes. To ask them to bring their students to more, more of these events. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah. That would be great. So you all have a powerful team. Let's keep it together. We, we know that outside organizations are trying to come and pick you guys <laughs> off. We want you all to stay together so you can provide <laughs> this quality for years to come. You're That's right. right. I'm keeping this team like this. Yeah, hold them <laughs> on. To, yes, hold them tight. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hold them That's tight. Great. Hold them oh. tight. And I think we just wait just a couple of more minutes. I know we had uh, a couple of more registration, uh, but maybe, you know, just a couple of more minutes. And uh, I'm going to be recording. So uh, if you all do not mind, I am going to start that right now. And then we can just we can just have a conversation. I know that uh, our whole team is here, so we can talk about a lot of different things. Um, and my name is Patricia Ferguson. And we're here to discuss Genie 101, which is the Global Engagement Network for International Education. But before uh, we start off with our presentation, I would like to invite uh, our Executive Director, Alejandra Bueno, to kind of say a, a couple of words. You know, like Ronnie was saying, we've had a busy week and it's been very successful. And uh, we just kind of would like to have her welcome us. Thank you so much, Patty, and, and again, congratulations to the entire team for, for what has been so far a great international week. Uh, we have three events that we wanted to, to invite and are specifically created by the office, and they refer to the new programs that we have um, launched. Um, we have internally launched with a faculty and, and our students, some of them are aware of what's coming up, but we wanted to take this opportunity during International Education Week to speak more and have a conversation, as Patty said, around uh, these new programs. We are still in the phases of implementing and uh, Gini is one fantastic program that um, was created, uh, I have to give, give credit to our former vice chancellor, Mr. McKinley. He wanted to create a program that was kind of like a body system where international students could have a, a student, a local student welcoming them and helping them during orientation and helping them to set up in the city of San Antonio. Patty went further and she said, uh, we know that the benefits of international students are tremendous also for our students as well. So why don't we create a program that just simply uh, enhances and encourage interactions between international students and local students. So we really let also our local students to benefit from those interactions and learn a little bit more about the world in, the, in their own classrooms. So that's how Gini uh, was conceived, how it was created. And um, I let now uh, Patty to tell us more about Gini and we can begin the conversation. And welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. You're muted, Patty. You're muted. Uh, muted, but that mute button. Uh, before we actually start, uh, uh, you know, we've been doing this virtually and it's always been an issue. We've been trying to wrap our heads, like how do we engage in this virtual world, in this Zoom world? So we're gonna do a little activity right now and I'm actually going to copy and paste it into the, the chat and I'm calling it the Genie Icebreaker. Uh, we have a uh, polleverywhere.com. You can either copy and paste the one with Patricia Ferg 680 uh, or you can go to uh, pollev.com and enter Patricia Berg uh, 680 uh, to do the activity. And what I would like for you to do, we all have unique, uh, we're all unique people. So what I would like you to think of one word, and you're gonna type in one word that uh, is an adjective that describes you, okay? So at the end, we'll, we'll share it, but just go in there. You just have to go in, uh, use this, a screen name, you can make up anything, 
and then type in uh, accept the cookies and then type in the word and we'll like i said we'll share it at the end of our our session okay so while y'all are not doing, seeing the url in the chat yet that you it's not a oh because i need to hit enter yes. there that's better okay. there you go so it's in there um so i'm gonna go ahead and share screen and i'm gonna make sure that i share sound uh so I hope everybody can see the screen. Y'all are good? Can y'all see yeah, my screen? Can we see your yeah. desktop, Patty? Yes. Yeah. The desktop. Yeah. And the beard looks a little bit blurry. I don't know if you can make it a little bit bigger. Is that better? Yeah. And let me see. Is that better? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and, and uh, work on this. Um, so Jeannie 101, uh, we came up with the name Global Engagement Network for International Engagement, Engagement because we wanted it to be bigger uh -huh. than, excuse me? We wanted it to be bigger than um, just a, a buddy program. Uh, and actually uh, we called it Jeannie because we want to let it out of the bottle and just kind of explode. So what is Jeannie? Jeannie actually uh, is open to all Alamo College's district students, uh, but not just students. We have faculty involved. We also have our uh, staff, our whole community that is involved. Uh, and it is uh, international and domestic students. And that's the part of the, the, the buddy program that we had, we had talked about. Uh, and we're doing a peer cohorts. And instead of doing a one-on-one, -on -one, because right now, uh, unfortunately, our international population, uh, we have about 112 students uh, and we have, you know, our overall population of about 64,000. So we thought, let's do it in cohorts and smaller groups uh, where they can actually get a chance to meet more students. We want to do specific international and multicultural programming. And in this program, we want to have discussions with the students. So we are really looking uh, for faculty to come and help us to work with us to provide this type of, uh, of uh, programming. Uh, it provides opportunities for students to engage and we want to do some cross-cultural training, engage in intercultural experiences, connect to meet new people with different perspectives, connect with their faculty, and have an opportunity to share their culture. Uh, we want them to learn, to practice a second language skills with the native speaker, become more globally aware and learn about new cultures, develop interpersonal communication skills, and then to reflect uh, and become a global, uh, develop this global competence. Now, we kind of broke it down to our benefits to participate in Jenny for domestic students like we said we want them to have that engagement in intercultural experiences because these types of engagements have shown in different studies that uh, students uh, benefit this in a variety of different ways uh, to meet people with a different perspectives like I said we, they can practice uh, a second language uh, learn a little bit learn some words become more globally aware and learn about new cultures and have a chance to share their culture. And even within the United States, within Texas, within San Antonio, we have a variety of different cultures here. Uh, develop interpersonal uh, and communication skills. Uh, and also we have a new program called Alamo Global Student Distinction, AGS. And this is a way to earn miles to get the, the credit that they need to get this distinction. Um, and also to help promote international ed education. And the same thing, the benefit for uh, participating in Genie for international students, they will be able to connect with uh, Alamo College students before and after they arrive in the United States. They will also get to meet people with different perspectives and practice their English skills. But uh, we have uh, heard in different studies that a lot of international students will make friends with other international students from different countries, but it's 
a little bit harder to make friends with American students. And a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with language. So if they're able to practice their English skills, that would be a great benefit for international students. Also to learn about the US uh, culture, but also our Texan culture. We're very proud as Texans of the culture that we have here. We have a very rich culture. And they get to actually see it through the eyes of a local student up here. And uh, also, you know, have a chance to share their culture. Uh, and like, like here in, in San Antonio, we have a lot of variety of different diasporas. Uh, so we are very rich in culture and we wanna share that. Uh, they get to develop their interpersonal communication skills. And also, they also will be able to earn the miles to become an Alamo Global Student uh, and that receive that distinction award. Uh, and that would be after uh, they graduate, or when they graduate. Uh, and of course, help promote international education. And I know that we have some faculty here. There's also benefits for uh, faculty because uh, faculties will be able to, to uh, develop their relationship with the students also. Uh, so these are some of the ac activities that we kind of were uh, brainstorming and you know, before COVID hit and we were already excited about doing some of these wonderful activities. Uh, we uh, wanna start off with an orientation, have uh, several cross-cultural training workshops. Uh, we wanted to do a Discover San Antonio and this would be done in the low cohorts where we would do like a scavenger hunt uh, and they would be able to use the VIA bus, go downtown and I kind of get to uh, know San Antonio. Uh, we want to take a trip to Enchanted Rock. And during these uh, activities that we're doing, we want to bring in global conversations and, and have questions where we can have students interact and talk about differences in their country and the things that are here. Um, the state capitol, we want to do a tour of Austin. Uh, like I said, we want to do some team building and also leadership workshops. Uh, we were thinking of doing an international food festival. Uh, as you know, uh, many cultures uh, communicate and they um, interact with uh, the food. Uh, and then at the end for the students that have done a, a lot of the, the participating in a lot of things that we've been doing, uh, we wanted to do a trip to NASA. Uh, and then also we are thinking in the spring having some type of a forum where we have students come in and share, uh, maybe do projects or do uh, presentations uh, of their either international experience, if a student did a, like a study abroad, or some of our international students can share about their, uh, their country. So virtually, this has been a challenge in trying to, you know, do different things. One of the things that we're going to be doing uh, is Beauty 101s. This is the first one that we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing them uh, throughout the uh, the spring semester. We want to do a genie uh, meet and greet. We were talking about doing a universal snack taste challenge, uh, something to kind of get engaged and maybe uh, having students, let's say, let's we do snacks of Korea and we send out students a little snack pack and then just taste different things and talk about what we think and how that, you know, what, you know, do we like it, but we like it, but, you know, what are our different taste buds that we have? We want to have a global conversation series. We're already having that in a, a higher administration, but we want to do some student editions and talk about, you know, maybe climate, you know, talk about uh, the workforce or, you know, um, a variety of different topics that, that students might be interested in. We also want to do a, a thing we're calling like Alamo Eats and uh, do a food tour of different cultural holidays and what they do. You know, as we're coming around our holiday season, we have our traditions and we've done this for our international students where we provided a Thanksgiving uh, luncheon, but we would like to know what other cultures and what kind of, uh, you know, foods are out there. We know we're all very familiar with tamales, but what else is out there? We also want to do an insider look and that's really having students do tours of either their home city, their, their country, or, you know, where they grew up. It could be a different part of the United States, just a variety of different things, but from the perspective of the student. And then we want to be open to uh, the student's input and kind of see what is it that they want to do and uh, develop those.
<laughs> we also have an opportunity for a, a cultural navigator. And uh, these are like the cohort leaders and they are like the bridge to bring in international students and our domestic students. Uh, they will be uh, leaders, so they have a chance to develop their leadership skills. And we're looking at different forms of compensation, either having it be uh, an employee, like a work study position, or uh, maybe some scholarships. We wanna be able to, to compensate these students that are going to be our um, go-betweens. They're gonna be the, like I said, that bridge. And they will be developing some of the uni activities and promote, promoting it to students and to, uh, through social media. And they would be the lead in communicating uh, with uh, our students in the Genie program. Uh, they do have a little bit of a requirement, especially this first year, inaugural year that we're working with. We would like for them to have some type of international experience and be already culturally, have that cultural sensitivity. Uh, we're looking at about a 2.0 GPA. Uh, they will have an application, they will do an essay, and they will also have uh, faculty recommendations, and we will do uh, an interview um, through our office. So it's kind of like an internship type of uh, program for our cultural navigators. Now, lately we've been uh, really moving forward with our diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we have that in Genie. And uh, here is how Genie promotes a, a transformative change. Like I said, in Genie, we want the student to engage, you know, uh, and connect, learn and reflect. So the global competencies that we have identified from our list of global competencies that we have set the Alamo Colleges uh, programming like AGS and COIL will bring uh, to our students in our attitude, skills, and knowledge. Uh, these are specifically for Genie. Uh, we want them to understand their own cultural norms and expectation and those of others. Understand how personal and cultural biases impacts lifelong learning. To have a willingness to explore outside of their own cultural comfort zone to strengthen their understanding of self. Also to recognize, accept, and celebrate the diversity of cultures and identities, demonstrate a sense of global social responsibility. In the skills, we want them to have the ability to engage and collaborate with others with diverse cultures, with understanding, respect, and compassion, ability to identify cultural differences in order to communicate and complete in the global workforce. Um, ability to be a model servant leader uh, uh, and practices across the cultures. The knowledge is commits to the process of a comparative global perspectives by continuous learning and reflection, utilizes different perspectives to solve, uh, to problem solve and decision making, and practices a deep understanding of culture, diversity, equity, and inclusion. As you see, this goes uh, towards the diversity equity inclusion, but it also goes through our global workforce training. As uh, Alamo Colleges, our main goal is to have our students be out uh, and be prepared for the global uh, workforce. And we wanna be able to give them those skills to be able to do that. We would like to share uh, a video that we have for Jeannie, and I'm gonna start it right now. The Global Engagement Network for International Education, known as GENI, is a program that aligns with the Alamo College's district's mission, vision, and values by promoting global citizenship. GENI hosts activities that promote interactions between international and domestic students to develop skills that empower for today's global workforce. Genie encourages both international and local students to engage with peers, faculty, and campus community. I know it will be really tough, um, as, like especially for the international students speak a different language, but you should definitely need to work through it. In doing so, you're gonna meet a new people, um, new skills, and new environments. It is really interesting to talk about um, new culture from all over the countries. 
Genie invites you to connect with your peers and faculty, especially those that have a diverse background. Genie is a program that has been designed to allow for students and faculty the opportunity to connect with different nationalities, with people, either students or faculty from different nationalities. We know and we understand by connecting with different people, you learn a lot. And others can learn from you as well. If you are coming from abroad, you can learn a lot about Texas culture, San Antonio traditions, food, and many other things that happen here. If you are uh, from San Antonio or from this region, you will learn a lot from other parts of the world through the interactions that you will start through Gini with other international students. We strongly encourage you to look at Gini and find the opportunity to connect and engage with others. Gini urges you to be a lifelong learner, to have a mindset open to continuous global learning. It's important because life, there's always changes in life. Your situation is always changing. So to be successful in the global workforce, it's important to be adaptable and flexible to all the different changes. Genie challenges you to reflect on your college experience and how it shapes your global perspective. One of the best lessons that I've learned is that anybody can have an international experience. Whether you're here in San Antonio or whether you're meeting somebody from an international location, you can always have that connectivity with others. In San Antonio, we have such a wide range of international communities, whether that's Mexican, Japanese, Vietnamese, Korean. We have the largest MLK March. We have the largest Diwali festival. We have such a wide range of ethnicities here and it helps people connect with others. Be part of creating a culture of diversity, equity, and inclusion at the Alamo Colleges. Join Genie, make new friends, learn about different cultures, and become a global citizen. There we go. So uh, to join Jeannie uh, right now, uh, just contact me at DST-International or sign up through Alamo Experience. We will be uh, launching our uh, website uh, pretty soon and we'll have that uh, availability. But if you uh, email me, I can uh, send you the application and all the things that you need to do to um, join. So we are done with the presentation. Thank you so much. Uh, do we have any questions? I know that we have, it seems like we might have some faculty members also. I, I, I did have a question. Has, yes. has Jenny already started? Are there individuals already working in Jenny or is it? Uh, are we still, you know, kind of trying to get people into Genie? You know, our first uh, step is really we're going to be marketing it, and we've been working on that uh, once we get our website, and we just finished this video to our students. Uh, one of the things that we would like to do is uh, reach out to students that are already active in different uh, organizations already through Alamo Experience, and see if they wanna join Genie. We already have several kind of international type uh, organizations already. And we, so Genie's like really a network and we wanna develop this network and kind of support other things that are going on. Uh, and right now uh, we're in the process of uh, trying to recruit faculty also, because really, you know, in order for this to, to kind of take off the ground, we really need the help of faculty. Uh, to be able to you know, bring in students to different programming, let students know, but also have those conversations in the classroom that bring in that global engagement. So uh, we did have a, a meeting with some faculty members and we kind of got some ideas of some things that we want to do, like the Alamo Eats, the holiday that was uh, from Chef Costello at St. Phillips, which would be great. I can't wait 
till we're actually on campus and we can actually taste the food. But uh, you know, so there's a lot of ideas that we kind of really we're really looking for for faculty to come in and join us and then kind of get ideas. Uh, right now, it is at the district level, but in reality, we need to get this at the college level also. We want to make it an organization within each college so that we can take advantage of the funding from the student uh, activities fee. You know, the students pay $3 a credit hour. So we want to be able to take uh, advantage of that to be able to do different things. And we can do, you know, cross or district wide activities. We're here at the district office, we're kind of like the um, the support for all of this, you know, we want to support all the colleges, but we really want this program to be at, at the colleges and then do different programs like like the Gini Forum. We would like to do that at the, the district district level that could be utilized by all students. Well, I'm going to volunteer our, our logistics club on, at Palo Alto. We have uh, really uh, some really uh, fired up uh, individuals that are president and and uh, vice presidents of the logistics club. And so uh, I, I'll, I'll put their names out there, the club, and we'd be honored to, you know, get that going and, and spearhead that at Palo Alto. They don't know it yet, but I'm dropping it on their heads right now. Well, you know, Ronnie, one of the things that, that is great about this, like I said, you know, that's why we're calling it a, a network because we want to get different clubs involved and, and kind of join and cross, you know, and just like we said, you know, we're letting the genie out of the bottle and it's all over the place. But one of the things is that um, through genie, they can earn miles for the AGS. And the AGS is yeah. really important. That the, and I'll let uh, uh, Alejandra or Isabel talk a little bit about that because we have a little bit of time because that's a really important because they will get a distinction once they graduate that they can take to their employers. You know, right. genie just a, is a, a part to give them those activities, but they'll be able to get that. Say, hey, I'm proving that I can work with diverse people. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a team player. You know, and has those those competencies. So, um, I think it'd be great. Do we have any more questions, or you see? I, I'd like to comment also that as part of the implementation of this this program that was already approved by leadership. Um, we are aligning it with Alamo experience. So beyond the students having these miles that will accumulate for the international or global student distinction uh, program, which is another program and we'll be more than happy. If we have time at the end, probably Isabel, you can show the other video for AGS for Alamo global student distinction. But in that program, students will accumulate points for international activities as they participate. And when they graduate, they will accumulate sufficient points, hopefully for a, earning a distinction. And we have three different distinctions, uh, ambassador, citizen, and diplomat. And that's exciting because the students will be able to prove that they have earned these marketable skills in their Alamo experience transcript. So we're very excited for that. And uh, we believe that this, this alliance with the uh, Alamo experience is beneficial for everyone, especially for the students. Yes. So that's when we, when we talk about these competencies and the students can bring those to their marketplace. We, we are, we are um, what we wanna do is give the students the tools so they can demonstrate that they have acquired, they have had these extracurricular activities where they have learned some uh, based on experience, they have learned and they have acquired these competencies. So, very happy. And uh, Connie, I, I saw your your comment in the chat. I'm excited about that. I would love to have uh, to work with PTK. And if you can uh, give me your email address, uh, we can definitely connect. And like I said, you know, we we really want to connect with groups that are already out there and develop new ones. And if anybody wants to, you know, you know, be the advisor for their genie. Uh, at their campus, you know, that would be great. And we'll be working together. You know, we're providing a lot of the support. I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. I will send you an email and we'll get in touch, okay? Thank Sounds you. Sounds wonderful, Connie. I, I want to mention that Connie participated yesterday at a panel discussion with the students from Mexico. Uh, it was an activity that a lot of those that were there, uh, we just enjoyed tremendously because we had 
students participating on the Alamo College side discussing COVID and cultural aspects and political aspects with students from Mexico City. And it was fascinating because they were discussing from really the roots of their feelings and the process that they have gone through in, during this pandemic and everything. And I think Jimmy will, will promote more of these opportunities because we need to understand through dialogue and learn more about cultures and ways that we're facing same things probably now during the pandemic, but later on. So thank you, Connie. Thank you so much. We appreciate you participating. Thank you. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I, I truly did learn a lot and didn't realize how, how important it was until it was over that how, mu how much we do need to interact with, with everyone. So I'm super excited for you guys. I'm, I'm ready to be a part. Wonderful. And, wonderful. And, and just to kind of uh, promote tomorrow at uh, two o'clock, we're going to be having a presentation for uh, COIL, which is the the Collaborative Online International Learning, which is also uh, kind of worked towards the, the AGS, you know, to get those miles to be able to do that. And it's also a big part of our international. So that will be at two o'clock tomorrow. So you do not want to miss that. But, but before we go, I am going to share my screen so we can see what we created. And if you give me one second. Um, Oh, hold on. But before we go, it would be nice to, if we can. Yeah, before we go, I just wanted to share this. So we have encourager, loyal, thinker. I am seeing interested, uh, optimistic, new, easygoing, dreamer, uh, world, learning, critical, cosmopolitan, uh, conscientious. I love this, this uh, uh, genie word cloud. That's fun, Patti, thank you so much. That was very interesting. And so I more, more tools available on the digital world, right? <laughs> yes, we really uh, want to thank all of y'all for, for uh, coming here. Like I said, we're going to be doing some more of the Genie 101s for students, uh, probably in the, the spring semester. I know that they're, you know, trying to get ready already for the end of the, the yeah. term. Uh, but yeah, especially we, we really would like to get with other clubs and then, and then have students. Basically, it's going to be a word of mouth, students inviting other students. You know, I think once they meet students and then they realize, hey, there's a lot of things that we can do and really have good conversations. Uh, I think uh, it really will uh, kind of expand. But the, I'd like to um, show the other video that we have oh, about, sure. Let about me give a global student distinction because that helps to connect the dots in between Gini and the, the new program Alamo Global Student Distinction. We presented yesterday at an event called Between Neighbors that was fascinating also and uh, but if you miss that one, I think in five minutes you can learn. In less than five minutes you can learn about AGS. We're very excited for that program. Uh -huh. So I, I think, Alejandro, do you have that or do you need Isa to be a co-host? I, I need Isa to be co-host. Can you please? Uh, Maria, I think you. Can you make her co-host? Or uh, actually I have it here. If you want, I can. I can share my screen here. You have it now. <clears throat> the Alamo Global Student Distinction Program, or AG. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I had here for another presentation that I'm giving in a couple of minutes. Here it is. The Alamo Global Student Distinction Program, or AGS, allows students to earn a special recognition for participating in select international courses and multicultural activities. 
participation in these activities will be rewarded with miles. Based on the miles earned by the time of your graduation, you'll receive one of three levels of the AGS distinction, global citizen, diplomat, or ambassador. The goal of AGS is to give you the skill sets necessary to become a global citizen and compete in today's global workforce. So this program will be beneficial to students as they seek to transfer to a four-year university to get a degree there, or if they want to go straight into the workforce. So the skills that they learn through these international programs will provide them a big step as they try to gain employment as businesses are moving towards a more global business model. It puts our students at an advantage uh, to be able to get those jobs here in San Antonio and the surrounding community. Global competence will help you understand the diversity of world culture. It will help you uh, become integrated to, to all these people from around the world, which is very important. Uh, you are living, again, in a global village, and you need to understand who your neighbor is. My international experience helps me in my professional goals in regards to being more accepting in a diverse group of people. It also helps you with your leadership skills, being able to connect with others and being able to get over that culture shock helps you adapt to your areas. It helps you be more engaging with others. One of the best lessons that I've learned is that anybody can have an international experience. Whether you're here in San Antonio or whether you're meeting somebody from an international location, you can always have that connectivity with others. AGS is a very flexible program. As long as you have an interest to learn and earn about global or international competencies, you're going to be able to enroll and participate from your house, from your classroom, or from around the world. By earning one of the AGS badges on your Alamo Experience transcript, you'll graduate with a special distinction, helping you stand out in today's job market. Become a global citizen and earn the AGS distinction. Visit our website and apply. The Alamo Colleges District, taking international education beyond the classroom. So in a nutshell, that's that's the other program that we have, and that's how they connect with with this one. But before we leave, uh, Alicia has an important announcement, an exciting one. So for each of our International Education Week events, we are selecting a winner for our raffle, and I'm glad to announce that Connie, you have won this um, international snack box. So I'll be emailing you with your mailing address and all the details and we'll get um, that coordinated for you. But congratulations, Connie. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you everyone else that came and we will stay in touch with everyone interested. It's really a pleasure and an honor to, to be um, participating with all of you. And I know we have here students and faculty and that's how this, these programs get built upon with participation from everyone. So look forward to further engagement from everyone. Thank you. And uh, like I said, reach out. Uh, I'm only an email away. Okay. Thank you. Thank See you, you around in international Bye -bye. this week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sandra, before you go. Yeah. Penny, did you Be stop there? the recording? Oh. Hold on. Okay. The event starts 3.15 and it's only 45 minutes. Okay. 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 What, what event? What, do we have another one? I was like totally just... <laughs> no, it's, it's, I'm going to, to present to a group of YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. On international... It's an international forum of all the Universidades Tecnológicas and Politécnicas. So they have their international week. So we're participating in their stuff. We're also participating in their stuff. Oh, wow, that's great. Uh, on Friday, I won't be able to do the study abroad session because um, the city's having their their quarterly meeting for the uh, Study Texas and the international education at that time.
So we're having a quick like, check in this afternoon, right? This afternoon or yeah. at what time was it? Uh, I think at 4.30. It's late. It's just a quick 15 minutes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We okay. have the, uh, our... The That's funny. I know you're, you're not working today and I really hope you're feeling better. But as we get ready for tomorrow's different engagements, if you can join, that would be great. Maybe, I pro, I don't know what, what's going on. And if you cannot speak or anything, just uh, probably we can chat. But if you can join, if not, don't worry. We'll, we'll make it happen. No, we don't hear from her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> probably. It, it was, <laughs> yeah. Hard she's burning. tough. I mean, she's very kind to have joined in. I know. Thank you for for <laughs> being here, Latanya. It went very well, Patty. Yeah, I, I think representing. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, oh, oh. Then we need to schedule some for for the spring. Hello, girl. How are hey. you? Okay. Sorry, I was stuck. I couldn't get it get it unstuck. Are you okay. feeling better? You look better no. than yesterday. Or look better. I don't. I. I don't feel better, but I can't feel that I don't feel better. If that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. I have um. My muscle relaxers and my pain oh, pills. Oh, we are under the the influence of <laughs> some, some, some pain happy. pills, <laughs> which is probably why I couldn't find the button. Yes. Well, my daughter. Came back from Mexico and she's telling me that she went straight to uh, do a COVID test. She's not feeling well. Oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. So I hope it's nothing serious. But So Latanya, I hope uh, you can join later on, especially if you can, because we're going to kind of wrap up, wrap up around tomorrow's engagements and if you can, if not, we'll figure out, okay? Don't worry, don't you worry. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah. If you are sleeping, don't don't wake up. I mean, we, we'll figure out. Which, which, what's, which one? For some reason, I added all of these to my, uh, to my calendar. And then when I looked today or yesterday, I could not see the, invi see the invitations to join. So, I don't know if it's on my calendar or I could just be, you know, how for the payments. If you can join, fine. If not, don't worry. Please. To join at the lunar 430? If you're or, feeling good for going to sleep, go to sleep and forget about us. Mm -hmm. uh, Alejandra, are you, you talking about joining at 430 or? Yeah. Joining, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to talk about COIL tomorrow. And I don't know what else I have with her tomorrow. Oh, can somebody send me? I don't. Oh, wait. Four four thirty. And then oh, we have on Friday the meeting with the hundred k strong, and the also. I hope you're good for the India India webinar. Yeah, I think I'll be I'll be okay. I won't be hurting. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. okay. Well, ladies, I let you go, especially you, Latanya. Please don't work. Uh, go get have some rest. And Maria, good job. Everything has been pulling well. Yeah. I've heard only good comments from everyone. I think uh, we need to wrap up later and talk about what Alba told me yesterday, but she gave me a great, great idea. Okay. About the following year and how we can bring International Education Week as, as a tool for internationalizing classrooms. Mm. So it's a win-win with faculty because yeah. they can ask their students to join the sessions and then they internationalize their courses. And their, so everybody wins and oh, the yeah, students yeah. are more engaged with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you still want to do the intro for Jose Moreno or just me do it? I have a little short clip that I was just going to read for him. No, no, no. You, If I'm not there, please go ahead. Uh, at what time is Jose Moreno? Right now. No. It starts I at have, five, three, but... Um, I'm do, double booked right for that one. I'm double booked. So 
I, if I can, I join at the end a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, have, like, well, I'll see you later, I'll so join him. Yeah, I'm sorry. Patty, make sure you get the mm -hmm. recording. Yes, uh, I, I already stopped okay. it and I also saved the chat. Okay. Okay, okay guys, see you later. Okay, Natalia, go get some rest, okay? Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.